In our healthier me this morning, caring for a baby can certainly be rewarding, loving, and exciting, but it can also be frustrating at times. Shaken baby syndrome is the most common cause for brain injuries in the first two years of life. This morning, Valley News Team's Danielle Barber explains the right steps in caring for your baby. Shaken baby syndrome is a severe form of child abuse that results from parents or caregivers um, violently shaking a baby or a small child. This whiplash motion causes a child's brain to repeatedly hit the front and back of the skull, leading to potentially fatal consequences. Can cause death or blindness, cerebral palsy. Um, there's many different lifelong debilitating things that can happen if they don't die from it. Child Injury Prevention Coordinator Elizabeth Ostrich says inconsolable crying of an infant is the number one trigger for shaken babies. Most of the time there is no actual criminal history or drugs or alcohol history of the perpetrators. It's just regular parents losing their control. If you've shaken a child, there are ways to tell if serious damage was caused. Some things to look for are lethargy, um, vomiting, the inability to cry, um, because if once they get shaken, sometimes they lose that control and they don't even know how to cry anymore. While babies cry for often unknown reasons, if you still can't comfort the child after a while, Ostrich says calming yourself could help avoid a bad situation. Just knowing when to set that baby down and take a break and walk away. Um, put the baby down in a safe place like a crib or a playpen and then taking the five or ten minutes you need to cool down. Ostrich recommends parents take the appropriate classes and also educate anyone who's going to be caring for your child. Danielle Barber, Valley News Live. For more information on how to sign up for classes, you can head to our website, valleynewslive.com, and click on the Healthier Me tab.